Hi, I'm David Schofield. I'm in the Trialto tasting room uh, here in Vancouver, BC. And uh, now we're going to speak about uh, Catena. I'm going to speak about uh, Catena. Catena is, in our humble opinion, uh, one of the great wine brands in the world. We really believe that this wine, uh, and specifically this one, which is Catena Malbec, this happens to be the 2010 vintage. Uh, we think this is astonishing value for money. And I'll try and explain why. Um, the Catena family have been uh, involved in wine in Argentina um, for three generations. Uh, the first uh, Catena came from uh, Italy in 1898. Um, the company as it exists today was uh, really created by uh, Nicolas Catena, uh, who uh, was a visionary. So this wine and Malbec in general in Argentina is the product of high altitude farming. What does that mean? Uh, the, vin the, the home vineyard at Catena, where the uh, winery is located, is uh, 3,000 feet above sea level, uh, which is exceedingly high in uh, global terms. But there are now vineyards um, which are 50% higher at 4,500 feet. At that latitude, it's Mendoza's 34 degrees south latitude. Every time you go up um, 100 meters, uh, the temperature drops by one degree. Um, that means you have the chance to move closer to the equator uh, and higher up uh, and, and, and find perfect conditions uh, for, for growing fruit. And uh, Catena have pioneered doing that. And so the, they have vineyards at this very, very, very high altitude. So what, what happens there in, that, in the high, thin air? There's incredible intensity of light. Uh, there is, very importantly, uh, a huge thermal amplitude that is a swing in minimum and maximum temperatures from the uh, high temperature in the day to the low temperature at night. That's really important because it allows the fruit to mature slowly to hang on the vine, which is uh, critical for Malbec, uh, to develop beautiful balance between uh, grape sugar and acidity and uh, complexity of flavor. Something that's really interesting, because it's high uh, and the, the air is thin, the skins of the grapes uh, are as much as four times thicker than, than elsewhere. The flavor of wine comes from skins. And so it's not surprising that these uh, wines have uh, incredible f flavor, both in terms of uh, concentration and, and uh, complexity. So it's very exciting that, you, that, that, that wine like this, a grape uh, that was very much second division uh, in Europe, in the new world uh, produces results that are, that, that are totally different. And f uh, one of the things that we love about this is it goes to show you never can tell. What we love about wine is it's not a question of new world versus old world. We live in uh, a different wine world now and we really believe that this kind of wine is the future because it's the best of the old and the best of the new. You know, the, the uh, new world environment and really uh, a classic traditional old world approach to uh, farming and winemaking.